wrong. What do you? Right. Off we go. Are you all ready? Right. Question number one. Compared to body weight, what animal is the strongest? And you've got a choice between the dung, dung beetle, elephant, ant or cow. Right. Question number two. How many dots appear on a pair of dice? Right. Question number three. Which is the only body part that is fully grown from birth? I think the question, the answer is wrong to the next one. But anyway, what is acrophobia a fear of right and question five in what country was Elon Musk born? Okay, right, now, is anybody brave enough to answer question number one? Compared to their body weight, what animal is the strongest? Dung beetle. Right. Um, that is correct. Ooh, go me. <laughs> um. Right. Okay. Um, how many dots appear on a pair of dice? 36. No. 21. Not it's, going to be an even, it's going to be an even number because you're talking about two, aren't you? Hmm. A pair of dice is two, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, oh, sneaky person. Well, 42. Yeah. Right, that's correct. <laughs> Sorry, what was it? 32? 42. 42. Pair of dice, not one dice. But yeah, one I, re die. I, re I realize that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Well, this question was for Hattie, but anyway. Um, which is the only body part that is fully grown um, from birth? I put brain, but I really don't know. No, no, it's not the brain. No. Nails? No. <laughs> uh, well, we'll leave the answer to that one until Hattie comes back then, um, if she does. 
Um, or do you want the answer now? Yes. Right. It's the eyeball. Oh. Yeah. And um, what is acrophobia a fear of? Well, I put down water. Well, I think that's wrong. I think the spell A C is it? A C R R O phobia. Yeah. No. Well, I thought it was the fear of outsides, but Patsy's got it down um, as a fear of heights. Um, Isn't that vertigo? Yeah. That's what I thought. I think acrophobia is a fear of going out. I'm trying to think where my dictionary is. Um... Anna Graham? Um, agoraphobia is the fear of the outdoors. Oh, yeah. Have, um, acrophobia, I have no idea. <clears throat> right. I've got my little dictionary here. Um... Well, dreadful Americans it isn't in this book. I think Graham's right. Yeah. Well, I'm expecting you all to get five out of five right, so we won't worry about what the actual answer is. Thank you very much. No. Right. Number five. And number five, what country was in... Sorry, in what country was Elon Musk born? Elon Musk. Um, Egypt? No. <laughs> Switzerland? No. No. Come on, Graham, Graham give your, your suggestion. I've written down Mexico, but I haven't got a clue. No, right. Well, he's actually um, born in South Africa. Oh. Right. Um, right. Are you ready for the next five? Yeah. Well, I can safely say, friends, I managed one out of so, that. <laughs> so did I, Ray. That was the dung beetle. Oh, wow. I got five out of five. I, you know. Mm. And it, <laughs> it you when, well, yeah, when the answers are in front of you, or at least clues to the answers anyway. Yeah. I suppose actually I only got four because I'm still not clear on acrophobia. But, um, right. Um, number six. Number six. What is the name of Bill Sykes' dog in the Nile of... Uh, novel Oliver Twist. May I suggest I don't answer these next five because I submitted them. Righty ho. Oh. Um right. Um number um seven. The poet's name is W B Yeats. What does W B stand for? Um, number eight. Who wrote the book, The Naked Civil Servant? Question number nine. Which of the Cadbury brothers set up 
the Bourneville Village Trust. Sort of bung that in as a Quaker question. <laughs> yeah, right. And the last one in this section, how many symphonies did Beethoven write? Right, well, um, uh, Graham and um, Mary can take it in. Uh, well, yes, they can take it in turns or anyway, does either of you know um, the name of Bill Sykes' dog? No. No, right. Bullseye. Oh, God, yeah. Um, and WB Yates, what does the WB stand for? I think it's William Butler. Well done. Go to the top of the class. Who wrote the book, A Naked Civil Servant? That was Quentin Crisp. And which of the Cadbury brothers set up Bourneville Village Trust? No? Right, that was George. And how many symphonies did Beethoven write? Nine. That is correct again. Oh. Right. Well, I'm assuming that um, Ray can answer the next um, five questions. So here we are. <laughs> right, here we are. Then. Yeah, right. What's the biggest animal in the world? What year was Heinz founded? Oh, goodness. What, baked beans, do you mean? Yeah. The baked bean people. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure that's when they first canned a baked bean, but that's the date they were founded. So. So they had soup and things like that, didn't they? Yeah. Um, what year? Yes. My goodness. Um. An absolute guess there. <laughs> yeah. Next one's a date as well, but this, um, although I've got a different answer than Patsy's given here anyway. What year <laughs> did Margaret Thatcher die? When did Thatcher die? Yeah. Um, My answer would be not early enough, but there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, this isn't a political quiz or whatever. Anyway, right. Um, what fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill? Hmm. And number 15, how many valves does the heart have? Are you sure that's 15? Yes. Yes. Have you missed one? Yeah. I've Big got... More. The year Heinz was found... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I'm... Uh, I've, got, I've got the thing is wrong. Yeah, 12, right. 14. It would be 15. Sorry, sorry about that. My oh. numbering was a shot. Anyway, number 15. Carry on, mate. Well, we're going to pause now and see if any of you have got any uh, the answers. So, what's the biggest animal in the world? The blue whale. Yeah, well done. Yep. yep. What year was Heinz founded? 1896. 
Not quite. 1850. No. 1869. Ooh. What year did Margaret Thatcher die? 75. Yeah. Before I was going to say, but I don't know, 75? That's far too early. Yeah. What, what were you going to say, Hattie? 74. It's mm. far too early. Yeah. She... 2013. Yeah, exactly. And which fashion... Well, Designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill. Sorry, which? Which fashion designer reportedly had a relationship with Winston Churchill? No. Um, it's Miss Coco Chanel here. <laughs> and, uh, now, hopefully, Patty will be able to answer this one. How many valves does the heart have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three. No. Four. Yes. Uh, and should we go back to question number three, as Hat is here, and find out whether it was actually right? What's the only body part that is fully grown from birth? Not the rear end of a cat. <laughs> no, right, okay. Should we do the last five questions? Yeah. Right. Which city had the first ever fashion week? <laughs> yeah. What is a group of crows called? A group of crows. Um, um what is a baby rabbit called? Okay. Oh, I, think, I think I know that. So do I. Yeah. What is usually the strongest muscle in the human body? Yeah. And what is the only mammal that can't jump? Um, <clears throat> and we seem to have a stray question at the end, so I may as well ask that one um, as well. Which rapper's real name is Dylan Quabani Mills? Didn't catch that. Dylan something. Dylan well, Benny Mills. Benny. Benna, I think it is. K W A B E N A. Right. So, does anybody know which city had the first ever fashion week? Milan. No. Paris. No. New York. Yeah, New York. Uh -huh. In uh, 1943. All right, okay. What is a group of crows called? Ah, that's a good one. I like those. It's I called, cannot remember. It's called a murder. Oh, oh. that's it, that's it. <clears throat> and my favourite one is... Um, what is the uh, in that vein of larks? Oh, a song. Hmm. It's it's wonderful. It's called an exaltation. 
Oh, even better. <laughs> anyway, getting back to it. Uh, yes. No. Um... <coughs> Now, the answer to the next one is not lunch. Um, <laughs> Rab rabbit. Uh, lever it. Baby rabbit called. Lever it? No, that's a hare, I think. Hare, yeah, yeah. A kid. <coughs> I've got a kit, K I T. Ah. Yeah. I got it wrong then. <laughs> Which is usually the strongest muscle in the human body. Mm, I was going to say the quads. Oh! Bye. Mm. What is it then, Christopher? Go on. Um, it says here it's the jaw, jaw muscle, which I'm sure Hattie will give us the proper word for. Is it masses? Masses? <laughs> Masseter, M A W S E T E R. Mm. Really? Right. Mm. They're biting down, I guess, you know, and holding. Wow. Mm. Um, and what is the only mammal that can't jump? Well, aren't there sea mammals? And do they, do they jump? I mean, a sea lion can jump, I suppose. Yeah, and certainly dolphins can. <coughs> dolphins can. Sorry, what did you um, say? <coughs> I um, well, the what, is it, what is that? Um, a sloth? No, the answer given here is an elephant, but I think Mary was saying that elephants can jump, didn't you? Well, they they sort of pretend to jump, don't they? All right. Yeah, right. And uh, which rapper's real name was Dylan Mills? What, Benno Mills? Oh. Yeah. Eminem. No, Dizzy Rascal. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, if you'd like to tot up your scores, we can see. I think the only body part fully grown from birth. Yeah. Well, I decided in the end that it's the ovaries. All right. Well, it says the eye here, so I... All right, okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Not a question I've ever known. No, no. Well, why would you? I mean, apart from silly quizzes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, yeah. Well... Well, one, two, dear, well, one. dear friends, I managed an ashamable four. <laughs> I got less than you, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Right. How many did you get, Graham? I got five out of the well. first 11. Nothing after that at all. Um, <laughs> I've looked up acrophobia. Yeah. Castle's dictionary, and uh, perhaps he is quite right. It is fear of heights. Sorry, yeah. it is fear, fear of heights. heights then. Fear of heights. Agoraphobia. I can't make out what you're saying. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What are you the talking question, about? Yeah, Hattie. The, the, one of the questions you missed is what is acrophobia a fear of? A C R O. Yeah. yeah. Um. It. <clears throat> Something about the edges or distance. Yeah, it's heights. So um, heights. Yes. Heights. Yes. Right. Fear of heights. Um, do you know what the prize is for the, uh, if there are any, um, for us to send to Graham or <laughs> just you know that nobody has to answer any questions. It's, I think I think it's called gloating power. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, Hattie was let down by her um, um, eyes <laughs> equipment. You know, not being here for half the quiz, so she might have. Um, anyway, um, 
No, I couldn't even remember the group of crows. I mean, ask me a year or two ago, I would have known, yeah. but I'd forgotten it. Uh, I, I like it because it's one of those things which is silly, and I remember silly things, and, and uh, the, 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 the group, what groups of things are, you know, and uh, ones that I liked, as I say, the uh, larks, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Uh, and just imagine that I'm all kind of rising up. <laughs> and, and of course, um, Stalin's is another one. Murmuration. That's Murmuration. the one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever seen a, a whole group of Stalin's yeah. all yeah. together, there's just Over thousands of them. Unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, Unbelievable. It's, Quite, quite, I'm quite impressed by the uh, and simple ones like a pride of lions and and, and uh, right. there you go. Well, the quiz is now over, but we've got a few minutes <laughs> left. Um, I'm sorry, I missed the beginning. <laughs> I, I must have missed the first eight questions. Yeah. yeah. Well, Patty, okay. would you have known where Elon Musk was born? <laughs> oh, <goodness. laughs> no. Apparently it's in South Africa. Oh, right, OK. All right. Do you want to know what the questions were, Hattie, or...? No, uh, if you can bear it. You can, you can do my five, if you like. Mm. Well, we'll do, do, I'll do the first... I'll quickly run through the first ten. Yeah. yeah. Compared to their body weight, what animal is the strongest? A dung beetle, an elephant, an ant, or a cow? Ant. No, dung beetle. A oh, dung beetle. Yeah, it can pull 1,141 times its own body weight. Um, how many dots appear on a pair of dice? <laughs> A pair of dice. Yes. Right. <clears throat> um, yeah. Well, I must admit, I had to write them down and add them Before. up. Forty-two. Forty-two. Two um, oh, 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 yes, I know what I've done wrong. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, the next three we've just been talking about. So we move on to the next one, which was what is the name of Bill Sykes' dog in Oliver uh, in the novel Oliver, Oliver Twist? <coughs> no what, idea. What does WB stand in the poet's name, WB Yeats? Very difficult questions. Yeah, shocking. Okay, so that was. Who uh, yes. wrote the book The Naked Civil Servant? Uh, it's the Friday morning discussion group that they're having a Christmas quiz with Blake, and obviously. And which of the Capri brothers set up the Bourneville Village Trust? Uh, that was George. I think you you were here for the rest of the questions, were you, Hattie? I don't know. Yeah. George. And that was how George many. Henry. And how yeah. many how many symphonies did Beethoven write? Uh, eight and a half, I suppose, or something. Uh, Nine. 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 He actually managed managed to finish all of his, didn't he? Yeah. He did yeah. actually. The wonderful ninth. Is a clue. <laughs> uh, there's a lot. I even as a result of hearing this quiz, what I have heard, uh, yeah. there's a lot I don't know. <laughs> What's W. B. Yeats? William uh, Butler. Butler. I was going to say Byron, but okay. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I like quizzes. I like failing, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yes, I like quizzes as well. I find them lots of fun because it reminds me of how much I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I really like Only Connect um, because, uh, yeah, I can just feel stupid or, you know, sometimes even cleverer. But, uh, anyway. <laughs> right. yeah. anyway. The only one I really did know was the valves in the heart. <laughs> I didn't know about the size of the eye. Goodness me. Uh, uh, oh. Yes. So. Right, well. And how was people's Christmas, may yeah. I ask? Um, Lovely. Couple of games of Scrabble. Good. Yeah, mine was okay. I'm now, I joined that Zoom meeting. Have you? Yeah, well, I, I was in it, so, you know, it sort of... Oh, uh, can, we, can we do the questions? Well, they're, <laughs> they're, in, they're in the... It's all right. We don't, we don't need to. I think we finished them, David. <laughs> right. Um, Did you have a pleasant enough Christmas day, Graham? Um, yes, it was I might... restricted. Yeah. We had uh, invited our daughters and partners to come, but then um, both Valerie and I tested positive for COVID before oh. Christmas day. So we spent... Um, the day together, um, resenting the fact that yes, we got mucked up, but uh, we ate and rested well as usual. Uh, uh. Tuesday and Wednesday this week were were all cancelled for me. I mean, within thirty six hours, well, within probably um, thirty hours, I had eight people I knew with COVID. I just, oh no! I know. Favorite. Two in a nursing home. Um, two when one place of music we were going on Tuesday afternoon, and four on Wednesday morning where we were going to play music. No, no. Were you positive at all, Hattie? No, 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 no. I've had a couple of terrible viruses. Ah, oh, right. <coughs> I mean, even last night I slept ten hours. I can't believe it. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, I had a virus earlier during the during the month, which was really quite horrible. Uh, slept most of the time and uh, was a bit grumpy. So, yeah. Well, but, uh, you know, you should take lessons from me. Then you could be grumpy all the time without having to get a virus in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, David. But then you know, um, a cousin of mine had to have a. Uh, um a serious heart operation just before christmas you know one of these five hour jobs and mm. uh, um but and when she came round she was described as being a bit grumpy and i thought oh that's usually a good sign isn't it after an operation um, <coughs> um uh, yeah, well not, Putting the quiz together, whoever did that, who put it together? Patsy. Oh. And I've been trying to get Patsy online, but failed miserably. Uh, it it may, may or may not be that she hasn't got Zoom installed on her computer at the moment. She hasn't. I'm, I'm pretty certain because she did, you know, I was trying to get her to do something last week and she said, oh, it says uninstall here. And, you know, and I think she just pressed the button, you know. But I mean, um, um, I said you'll have to go on and reinstall it, but I assume she hasn't. Um, never mind. Um, can anybody remember what we've got next week? I know I thought, you know, having said I probably wasn't coming anymore. I have a little list. Perhaps we've got some really interesting stuff coming up. So. It's um, January the 6th. It's Jenny Smith. <laughs> Jenny Smith. Yeah. Tales of Social Work in Bristol. Mm. <coughs> on January the 18th, we have Mark Gill on the Centre. Mark Gill on the Centre for the Deaf. And yeah. the quote is an opportunity to discuss hearing loss. <coughs> and I, will, I will try not to say on that date what. Yeah. But we will. Yeah. We will. We'll say it several times. <laughs> Keep account. On the on the 20th, 
we have Patty. Patty. Mm. The 20th? Yep. It says here the 20th of January. Yeah, but you said 6th, 18th. <laughs> no, it can't be the 20th, can it? No. no. Yes, well, I think it's the 20th. 20th. Yeah. I do well, think it's the 20th. Yeah, that's it. You're next, basically. You know. Yeah. And Graham comes after you. Okay. With a discussion of Hilda Cashmore. Oh, what? Hilda Cashmore, one of the... Um, okay. <coughs> do you want to explain, Graham? Not really. I'll leave it till the 27th. But yeah. The block of flats where Brian Perry used to live is called Cashmore House, and that is named after her. Oh, yeah. One day there may be a blue plaque on the settlement building in Barton Hill. Yeah. Yes, I tried to get a name at Central name named after her, but um, didn't succeed. Um, oh, while we're on and other things, Hattie asked if we could get subtitles on um, this, but I, I don't think the subscription we have allows us to because I've looked at everything it says on Zoom about how to do it. Uh, oh, right. You know. And if you if you look on here and go CC, can we find CC? It's a little white box with CC written in the middle of it. <coughs> no, there isn't. No. Normally, that's what I get when, when we've got subtitles available. Yeah. I think it's free on Zoom. Yes, I mean, if we were recording in the cloud, I think we could have it, but we're not. So, um... well, I don't know if it's anything to do with the recording. No, but I don't know why. Um... You can do it if you're doing it in the cloud. Whoops. Um, so <laughs> I haven't been able to find a way of us doing that, Hattie. So. No, no. Interesting. Yeah. Because I've certainly been, you know, because yearly meeting, I think they had, it was possible to have that. Um, but. Um, yeah. Have you got a little arrow by the microphone? <clears throat> Yeah. Have you got a menu by the microphone or by the video? Yeah. I haven't. Yeah, same as some text. Yeah. <coughs> Don't go. Now, I have to uh I said I would go to Oxfam to do a shift this afternoon oh. from 12 to 4, so I should well, be a little be late. Close, isn't it? I should <laughs> be a little late getting there, but <laughs> I'm going to have to, to go now. So, uh, Happy New Year to all, Yeah, and yeah. I will Thank hope you. to see you all next Friday. Yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.